Have you ever questioned your own sanity in a relationship or during a conversation? Today, we're going to talk about a phenomenon that might explain why. Gaslighting. This term, stemming from the 1944 movie Gaslight, refers to a specific type of manipulative behavior in which one person attempts to make another doubt their perception of reality. Gaslighting is a complex form of psychological manipulation, often so subtle that it can be difficult to recognize. It might take the form of someone telling you that an event didn't happen when you clearly remember it, or insisting that you said something that you're sure you didn't. Over time this can lead to feelings of confusion, anxiety, and self-doubt. The impact can be profound. You may begin to question your memory, your judgment, even your sanity. This can lead to a loss of self-confidence and a sense of helplessness. But it's important to remember that gaslighting is not about you, it's about the other person's need to control and manipulate. But what if there was a way to help mitigate the toll of gaslighting on your mental health? Enter mental health supplements. Now, these aren't a cure-all, but they can play a supportive role in maintaining mental clarity and emotional stability, which are crucial when navigating manipulative situations. For instance, omega-3 fatty acids are known to support brain health and cognitive function, helping you maintain mental clarity. Ashwagandha, a powerful adaptogen, can help your body better respond to stress, supporting resilience in the face of emotional distress. And B vitamins are known to aid in mood regulation and stress management, promoting emotional stability. So as we dive deeper into understanding gaslighting, keep in mind the role of these supplements. They can be a valuable tool in your self-care arsenal, helping you maintain your mental well-being as you navigate potentially manipulative situations. Understanding gaslighting is the first step towards reclaiming your reality. Remember, it's not about you, it's about them. And you have the right to trust your own perceptions and feelings. Stay tuned as we continue this journey of understanding and overcoming gaslighting. So, how do you recognize when you're being gaslighted? Gaslighting is a subtle art, often wrapped up in a bouquet of seemingly ordinary interactions. It's a form of manipulation that can leave you questioning your own reality, and it can be incredibly damaging to your mental health. Recognizing it, however, can be the first step towards reclaiming your narrative. One common sign of gaslighting is a persistent sense of confusion. You might often feel unsure of your own thoughts or perceptions, or find yourself constantly second-guessing your decisions. This is because gaslighters have a knack for throwing you off balance, making you question your own judgment. Another telltale sign is a feeling of being crazy. Gaslighters often dismiss your concerns or feelings as irrational or overblown. They might tell you that you're too sensitive, or that you're making a big deal out of nothing. Over time, this can lead to a sense of self-doubt and a loss of confidence in your own intuition. You might also notice that the goalposts keep moving. Gaslighters are experts at shifting blame and avoiding responsibility. They might change their story constantly or deny saying things that you clearly remember them saying. This tactic can leave you feeling like you're constantly chasing a moving target, unable to pin down the truth. Supplements like Omega-3S can play a crucial role in helping to recognize these behaviors. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential for mental clarity. They support cognitive function and help us think more clearly, which can be invaluable when trying to identify manipulative behaviors. We also need to talk about the emotional impact of gaslighting. It's not uncommon to feel anxious, depressed, or isolated as a result of gaslighting. You might even start to withdraw from friends and family, feeling like no one would understand or believe you. Remember these feelings are not your fault, they are a common response to a manipulative situation. So what can you do if you think you're being gaslighted? First and foremost, trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Reach out to trusted friends or family members and consider seeking professional help. There are many resources available to you, including therapists and support groups that can provide guidance and validation. Remember, recognizing gaslighting is just the first step. The journey to recovery can be long and challenging, but it's also incredibly rewarding. With the right support, you can reclaim your narrative and regain control over your life. Recognizing gaslighting is key to reclaiming control over your narrative. Once you recognize gaslighting, how do you overcome it? This is a question many people ask, and it's an important one. Overcoming gaslighting is not an overnight process, and it requires a combination of self-care, professional help, and community support. Firstly, let's talk about self-care, which is vital in restoring emotional balance. One way to enhance self-care is through the use of natural supplements. Ashwagandha, for instance, is a powerful stress-reducing supplement that can help you regain emotional equilibrium. 
It's a plant-based adaptogen that helps your body manage stress more effectively. By reducing your overall stress levels, ashwagandha can help you feel more grounded and less susceptible to the manipulative tactics of gaslighting. But supplements alone are not the answer. They are tools that can aid in your recovery, but they should be used in conjunction with other strategies. And this brings us to the second step in overcoming gaslighting, seeking professional help. Therapists and counselors trained in dealing with emotional abuse can provide invaluable guidance. They can help you understand the dynamics of gaslighting, validate your feelings and equip you with strategies to resist manipulation. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You don't have to navigate this journey alone, which leads us to the third and final step, leaning on supportive communities. Whether it's a trusted friend, a family member, or a support group, having people who understand what you're going through can make a world of difference. These are people who can remind you of your worth, validate your experiences, and provide a safe space for you to express your feelings. Overcoming gaslighting is indeed a journey. It can be challenging and sometimes painful, but it's also a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. It's about reclaiming your narrative, asserting your truth and nurturing your emotional health. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. There are resources available to help you, and there's a community of people who understand and support you. So, take a deep breath, take one step at a time, use the tools at your disposal. Whether it's ashwagandha to manage stress, a therapist to guide you, or a support group to lean on. Overcoming gaslighting is a journey, but with the right tools and support, you can regain control and nurture your emotional health. You are stronger than you think, and you have the power to overcome gaslighting. Take care of yourself and remember, you're not alone. Remember, understanding and overcoming gaslighting is a process. It's not something that happens overnight and it's okay to take your time. We've walked through the crucial steps in this journey today but let's briefly recap. Firstly, we discussed what gaslighting is. A form of manipulation that can distort your sense of reality, causing you to question your feelings, instincts, and sanity. It's a covert form of abuse that can occur in various relationship dynamics, from personal to professional settings. Next, we explored the signs of gaslighting, which can be subtle and often go unnoticed. These may include a person denying they said something even when you have proof, their actions not matching their words, or they may tell blatant lies. Then, we delved into techniques to overcome gaslighting. We focused on cultivating self-awareness, setting boundaries, and seeking professional help. It's essential to remember that you're not alone, and it's okay to reach out for assistance in navigating these complex emotional landscapes. We also touched on the role of supplements in maintaining mental health. Omega-3 fatty acids, ashwagandha, and B vitamins can promote emotional stability and mental clarity, which are vital when dealing with gaslighting situations. They can help to reduce stress, foster resilience, and aid in regaining emotional balance. But remember, supplements are just one piece of the puzzle. They should be used in conjunction with other strategies like self-care practices, relaxation techniques, and professional guidance. In conclusion, overcoming gaslighting is about regaining control over your narrative and nurturing your emotional health. It's about reclaiming your reality from the distortions of manipulation. So, take care of yourself, seek help when you need it, and remember, you're not alone in this journey. Your mental health matters, and it's okay to prioritize it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and share it with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Together, we can build a supportive community where everyone feels heard, understood, and empowered. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Until next time, stay strong and stay healthy.